Yo, 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 what's up everyone? Welcome to my guide to the needle skips on RuneScape 3. In this video, I'll be also covering how to unlock all the words and chapters. You may not know what that means right now, but you will find out. Anyways, on screen right now is everything you need to know about this quest. You don't really need anything prior to starting. I just recommend either a Phoenix Lair teleport or access the fairy rings to help you get to the quest start location faster, but it's not actually needed. Anyways, let's get into the guide. Start the quest, go to the area marked by the yellow mark on his map. The best teleports to get near there would be either the fairy ring code AKQ or a Phoenix Lair teleport. If you have neither, you could of course just walk. When you get here, search the needle and accept the quest to get a cutscene. Investigate the nearby mysterious body. Search the needle to get a shard in the needle. Click on the shard of the needle to commune with it. At the top where it says search for keywords, click on that and type in the word fire. If done correctly, it'll say you discover a new word. Some dialogue will come up, just go through all that. This is part of the whole unlocking all the words and chapters thing I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to cover all that towards the end of the video. It does not save you any time to do this now or later, so we're going to do it later. And for the time being, we're just going to do the bare minimum that needs to be done to complete the quest. After a dialogue, this window will come up. You can close out of it, then just go to the house to the northwest. Explore the fireplace. Go back to the needle. Enter the temporal portal and select the first chapter that says continue to chapter 2. You end up back at the house, finish the dialogue. Commune with the shard again and type in birthday. If done correctly, it'll say you discover a new word and just go through a dialogue just like before. Close this window after dialogue's finished and under the foot of the bed next to you is a tomb. Interact with the tomb to explore it. Descend the stairs to the east. Go back to the needle. Enter the temporal portal and select the first chapter that says continue chapter 3. You end up outside the house, finish up the dialogue. Commune with the shard again and type in Wenla. If done correctly, it'll say you've discovered a new word. Go back to Needle. Search the needle and select the first chapter that says yes. Go towards the house. When you cross this bridge of rocks, harvest from a nearby buckthorn bush to get a leaf and berry. 
Grind a buckthorn leaf and crush the buckthorn berry to get buckthorn smell of salts and a bottle of crushed berries. Then head upstairs in the house. Use the smelling salts on Primrose in the bedroom and finish the conversation. Go back downstairs. Search the bookcase in the next room in the northeast corner and flip through the book. Talk to Megan and select the first chapter to name the demon, then select the chapter that says Metum. The number for the chapter may be different for this one, so be careful. Use the bottle of crushed berries on the stove to the west to turn into buckthorn salve, which is an orange color. Go back to the needle. Use the buckthorn salve on Gale lying next to the needle and go through all the talking. Talk to Megan. Go back to the needle. Take the note from Gale on the ground next to the needle. Read the note, which is multiple pages, by the way, so make sure you flip through all that, then go back to the house. Talk to Megan and that will be the end of the quest and you can stop here if you want but the video does not because there's some things you can do to unlock some extra rewards. Whether it's worth it, it's up to you. You can watch the rest of the video in term for yourself. It's actually not complicated. You'll understand it just by simply watching me but it can be time consuming to do. I can explain the whole thing in just a few minutes though so when you're ready go back to the needle. Search the needle, select the first chapter that says yes, then select the first chapter to replay chapter 1. We're eventually going to do this with all three chapters, but one thing at a time. Commune with the shard and needle, and just like how you had to enter the words at the top of the window, where it says search for keywords, these are all the keywords for chapter 1. All of these have to be entered, and as you enter each word, pay attention to your screen. The most important thing you need to look out for is for it to tell you that you've discovered a new word after each one, or if you did that word already, it'll say you've already discovered it. That's fine, but shouldn't really happen as that probably means you lost your place. I would recommend trying to enter these in some kind of order so you do not lose your place. But if you enter the word and it says anything else, try it again, check your spelling, whatever. It has to register for it to work. Sometimes you might get dialogue. You won't always, which is fine. But if you do, make sure you go through all of that before continuing. Keep in mind, you have to unlock every word and every chapter to get the full rewards. Those are not necessarily the same thing. The chapters are those boxes that you see on the screen where you enter the keywords. You may have noticed there's a lot more words in there are chapters. The way this works is you type in each word to unlock a chapter, but sometimes the words overlap in two different ways. A single chapter can be unlocked using different words. Let's say there's three keywords involved in a chapter. So if you were to type in any one of those three, the first one will unlock the chapter and that's when you get the dialogue. The other two words they enter after that will just tell you that you discovered a new word but won't give you the dialogue again. Which as I said earlier is fine, most importantly it just needs to say that you discovered a new word. 
The second way they overlap is that some chapters can also share some of the words. So if you were to enter one of these words, you actually unlock multiple chapters at once. So even if you've unlocked all the chapters, you should continue typing the words until you've typed in all of them. It will tell you in chat box each word as you unlock them. If you want to make sure you got all of them, at the end when you're done typing, you can double check your work before continuing or else it's going to disappear from your chat box later. I don't think there's another way to keep track. Anyways, feel free to pause if you need this as I'm moving on. When you're done with chapter 1, search the needle, select the captions to move on to chapter 2, commune with the shard of the needle and type in these words. Some of the words are the same as chapter 1, but this list is not exactly the same. You have to type in everything for chapter 2, even words that have been used previously in chapter 1, as these are for a different set of chapters. Anyways, feel free to pause if you need this as I'm moving on. When you're done with chapter 2, search the needle and select the chapters to move on to chapter 3. Commune with the shard needle and type in these words. Once again, different set of words, different set of chapters, just type in everything. Feel free to pause if you need this as I'm moving on. When you're completely done with all three chapters, search the needle and select the chaptions to get out of wherever you may be to get back to the house. The person you need to talk to to claim your lamps is Megan. You get a medium lamp for unlocking all the chapters, which should be pretty obvious whether you did or didn't as it is displayed on the screen for you. And you get a large lamp for unlocking all the words, which is not so obvious and why I told you to double check your work earlier, which definitely should have been done. But let's say you didn't and you missed something. Your only option at this point is to go back and type in all the words again, but there is a certain way I would go about it. Here's the thing, you don't know exactly what word you missed and from which chapter. You could be missing one word out of the whole thing. So I wouldn't just type in all the words for all three chapters right off the bat. I would pick one chapter, type in all those words. One of two things is going to happen. Every time I type in the word, it's going to tell me I already discovered it, which means that I wasn't missing anything from that chapter and I'll just move on to the next one. Eventually, I'll get a chapter where there may be a word or two that says I discovered a new word. For all I know, those one or two words may be all I was missing. At that point, I wouldn't even bother with the other chapters. Just go back to Megan and see if she'll give you the lamp this time. But of course, if she doesn't give you the lamp, then you have to move on to the next chapter and try again. I'm just telling you that as a precaution, but hopefully you won't have to go through that mess. Anyways, that's going to end the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. Catch you later. Peace.